touch the dial. It's a zenith, right? Long distance. This was radio, okay? It can go long distance. Hold on, man. It's Terry here in D-Lab, and guess who I have here? Finally! Shortwave girl. Well, Emmy, right? So I got her here because I picked up this cool old chassis and I wanted to get her impressions of it because I don't think you've ever seen anything like it before. But first, what what happened here, buddy? What, what happened? I got attacked by a killer rabbit. Aha! So were you like going through a field like on, you know, in a quest for a shrubbery or something and then you ran across? Exactly. Ah. I, I can't believe it. I yeah. didn't see it at first, but yeah. then it just came out of nowhere. And, and, nowhere. and it looks very friendly, right? Right. It's white. It's fuzzy. It's right? cute. And then it's what happened? Ah! Exactly. <laughs> the teeth. I know. The teeth. Okay, anyway, we got an old Zenith radio here. My brother actually found this thing on the side of the road. And it happens to be, I got a road down here. It is... A 9S367. So this has the shutter dial, which I'm going to show Emmy in a minute. After she gives a bup, 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 you don't touch those dials. People are cringing when you did that. They're like, oh my god, she's touching the dial. <laughs> okay, here, here's what. You see this? This? Yep. That's glass. Yep. See that glass? You know what that does? It protects little fingers from touching the dials. <laughs> okay, right, dials. let's inspect it. All right, Emmy, I'm gonna let you lead this because I know that you have never seen anything like that. Do you even know what that is in front of you? I'm looking at the thing and I can't even read it, so no. no. Okay. All Actually, right. hang on. Oh. Zenith 9S367. And you're going to give me some credit. You couldn't remember either. Well, yeah, okay. You had to write it down. Okay, so one was Look made. at it. Okay, fine. So the date's on there. Did you see the date? Yeah, 1939, which is really old. How, how old so, is that? Uh, this is 2019. Mathematician. That's, that's about... No idea. How about 80 years old? Okay. Yeah. So this thing in front of you, buddy, is 80 years old. Isn't that crazy? All right. All right. Give it a look over and just throw questions out there. Why is that so hairy? Hairy. That's a, that's a good question. Hairy. I'm assuming you're talking about like the white yes, dust. Definitely. That's just dust. Okay. Like 80-year-old okay. dust. Isn't that wild? Did you know that dust is made out of human skin cells? Lovely. Okay, yes. so you obviously would not want to blow on that or inhale it, right? Exactly. All right, Em, so you have identified what it is by my default of leaving the stupid card on the table. Mm -hmm. What else would you like to know about this? Do you even know what that is when you said it's a zenith, uh, you know? What, blah, what is blah, no, not at all. Okay, so you have no idea what this thing is. No, but I know, I think I know what this is. What's that? From pa capacitor? A capacitor? Do I don't know. capacitors plug in and are they made out of glass? Yeah. They are. Okay. All right, buddy. So There's tens and thousands of that, types of capacitors. That's a tube. Oh, same difference. Yeah, 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 same difference. Okay. What else? What else you got going here? What else you want to know about? Is this kind of like a clock? I know this. This is a random question. Is this kind of like a clock? Just don't like touch 5, that 10, dial. 15, 20, 25, 30. Subscribers that have a heart attack if you touch that dial. Okay. All right. So all right. No. No, it is not. All right. So here's what it is, buddy. You, you can have your seat. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I know. It's it's pretty tough when you're at your age to stand up very often. You know. Yeah. Hey, I, I get it. All right. Um. So what this is is actually a radio chassis. So this is the inner workings of an old 1939 radio made by Zenith. Okay, have you heard of Zenith? No, never. Okay, well anyway, it's an old company. If you look right there, see it? All right, whoa, I touched the dial. It says Zenith, right? Long distance, this was radio, okay? It can go long distance. Yeah. 
All right, so it is a radio, okay? And back in the day, this received AM. AM, AM like local radio, and shortwave. Shortwave oh, girl, okay? So that's the bands. Now here's what's really cool. This was the tuning, which is not working. When you tune this, that those needles would normally move, okay? So there's something wrong there. But you see this lever here? Interesting. Okay, watch when I, I move watch when I move that. this lever. Watch. See that? So what? They call this a shutter dial radio. Do it so again, do it again. Each band opens up these shutters. Isn't that wild? So there's people that collect these radios on. They're they're very desirable. Obviously, this one's not very desirable in this condition. Looks like it's got a good 80 years worth of dust. Now, do you see this funny looking device here? Do you see that? Do you know what that is? No idea. That's also a tube, okay? But they called these a magic eye tube. So if you look around here, you can see the actual tube that goes to a socket and it's wired in. But what that was for, it was a tuning indicator. This is where the tuning capacitor is. You've seen those with, with the, the fins. So when you rotate the knob, those fins turn. You've seen it in some of my other radios, right? That's how it selects stations. And then over here, these were old, like, push buttons. They're all seized up. But this thing used to have what they called presets. So you can say, I want to listen to this radio station or this one without having to tune the dial. Unfortunately, the dial won't turn. So what if I actually like, pressed it? Actually pressed it. Well, if it was working, it might do something. But at this point, I highly doubt that it will. So Should let's I take try a look. It? No. Okay. It's kind of seized up. It's old. Okay. So let's take a look underneath. Okay. That'd be kind of cool. You might like that. All right, Em. So I, I've tipped it on its side, so you can see the insides, and oh, it looks oh, crazy. Pretty yeah, pretty old, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So do you have any questions for me? Yeah, why is that big wheel? Okay, well, back when they designed these, they wanted people to be able to like okay, flip this well, knob. Okay, well, hang on. Yep. I see okay. that it's connected to this. Okay. So, well, what else is it? It's also connected to like this, which connects yep. to that. Yep. And I'm wondering how people build radius nowadays. Yeah. Well, what this was, um, is this, this was called flywheel tuning. So back in the day, when this thing actually worked right, when you would tune a station, watch, see this wheel turning when I'm hitting the tuning? If I whipped it, that wheel would spin and the tuning dial up here would spin with it. But unfortunately, that's broken. That's not working anymore. Okay? And I'm sure you can identify a lot of the components in here, right? Because we've been in these things before. So what are those right there? Capacitors. Good. Good job. What's that? Hey, where are you going? Where's this right here? What's that? I think that's a capacitor. Well, sort of. I, th I believe it's a resistor. Um, oh, same difference. Yeah, same with these. See, these are old style oh, resistors. Yeah, it's very cool. So guess what? Why don't we try to turn it on? <laughs> yeah, let's turn it on. Okay, so I've got the original speaker hooked up right here, right? Okay. And that speaker goes into a plug on the back of the radio. So I think what we'll do is we'll bring it up real slow on this little apparatus right there called a Variac, okay? So let's just see if it'll even try to power up. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Em, I'm, I'm getting ready to plug this into the Variac, but take a look at that plug oh. and tell me, would you plug that in? Nope. Right. Because it's all like twisted up. Actually, and I'll try. I'll no, you're not going to try. <laughs> okay. So we need to fix this problem because this is a direct short. Okay. So we're going to fix that before we plug it on. Okay. All right, Em. So what I did just temporarily, okay, is I separated the wires. You see how they're not touching anymore? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to plug that into the Variac and we'll be able to control the power up of this radio. Okay, so it's not going to go kablammy. All right, Emmy, we have cleared the short on that plug, right? So now it's plugged into the Variac, and that will allow us to bring the voltage up slowly 
from 0 to 120 volts. Okay, so we have it set right now in what's called amps. So what I want you to do is turn this knob up slowly. Hold on. You're going to see that meter starting to go up. If that meter jumps, then turn the knob back down. Okay? Uh, what happens if I don't? Well, you probably see some smoke over here. Okay? So huh. bring it up slowly, but I do not want you to apply any more than half voltage, which is that line right yes. up there. Okay? Yes, uh, um, that to the line. Right, so bring it up about a quarter of the way. Do you see that amperage meter moving? No, not really. I see it moving a little bit. That's okay. Okay. Keep okay. going. That's it? Nope. Keep going to halfway. Just like I told you. You're okay. It is halfway. No, it ain't. Halfway straight up. It's straight up. The pointer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Bring it up. Halfway. Okay. Leave it right there. Let's see if we see anything happening. I'm we, ready to pull down. You're okay. We'll see if, <laughs> hey, over here at the radio. Do you see any indications of life? That's what we're after. Life. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Life. I'm going to turn That's the lights off. very, very... Lights off. Oh, yep. Do you see right what here, I right see? Right here, right here. Do you see what I see? Yep, right here. Excellent. Okay. Wow. So, so yeah. 80 years old, buddy. And it's firing up. This is very cool. Okay. That's right. hard. That's like, oh boy. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you bring that voltage up a little bit higher. Okay. I'm gonna lights back on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay. Push the red button. Yes. Push it. All right. So right now you're at about uh, 75 volts. Okay. So I want you to bring that up until you're right at 90 volts. So see where it says 100? Yep. I want you to come up to where it says 90. It's right underneath it. Go ahead. Uh, it ain't gonna hurt right. you. Yeah, go. It's gonna hurt you. I'm scared. Oh, come <laughs> on. Come on. This is part of the process. Bring it up. All right, Emmy. So you're at 90 volts. Okay, I'm gonna kill the lights. So now we know that the dial lights are coming on, but are any of these tubes lighting? Don't touch anything, but I just won't. look. Do you see any tubes lighting? Um, I see one. Yes, sort right of. There. Yes. See that? yes, yay! Okay, see this one? <laughs> Are we supposed to have all of them lighting? I'm well, guessing? That, that would be preferable, but it's okay if they're not, okay? So we have okay. tubes lighting. We're not drawing excessive current. Lights are on. Now let's see if we can hear anything coming out of the speaker, okay? Hold on. <laughs> Alright, so Emmy, you've got it powered up to about 90 volts, okay? Mm -hmm. Now the center mm -hmm. knob mm -hmm. is volume. This was tuning and that's band. Okay, so right now it appears as though you're on the AM band. So bring up that middle knob. See if it works. Sure. That's a good sign. Good sign. Go ahead and bring it up. Turn it up. Yep. Take it up. I tried. That's it. Is that all the way? It's all. Okay. So. I think you can only go on low. Mm-hmm. Very low. Okay. Time. So that's that's a really good sign. Okay, so let me explain this. So we know the tubes are lit up. Okay, so that's low voltage that lights the tubes. But if you turn the volume control and you actually hear that noise, that means the high voltage is working too. So this radio probably just needs some minor cap replacement, maybe cleaning and some tubes, and it might take right off running. How cool is that? Wow. Yeah, that's what I think. And you got to check it out. Yeah.